Hey guys, it's Mr. Jerry Green here today and I want to thank you for uh, coming in and watching my videos again. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. And guys, I want to share with you about marketing channels here today in the real estate investment space. I, I'll tell you what, I don't, <laughs> it seems like almost every day or at least every week here that I'm hearing another marketing strategy. And most of the time what it is, it's not so much a brand new strategy, it's just another twist on the existing strategy. And a lot of these things have been around for a long time, but the thing is, is there's just so many different twists and turns that they throw out there. So here's what I want you guys to think about, okay? Is I want you to think about this in a way of not trying to take on too many marketing channels at once. Man, I was, oh my God, I used to live this all the time. And you gotta remember, I'm a visionary, so I'm very spastic on this. So here comes a marketing channel, I'm like, oh, we need to do that. So I'm like a, chasing a, here comes another squirrel, this way. And yeah, I wanna do this marketing channel, I wanna do this marketing channel. Oh, so-and-so said this was the best, and this person said this was the best, and I just go crazy on it, okay? Every time I turn around, and that's something I heard on social media, or I get an email, or I go to an event, and I hear all, hey, this is the best marketing channel there is. And I'm like, stop, please stop. I know I get, you gotta take a, a breather from all this because this will stuff will drive you batshit crazy, literally. So I think the best thing you guys gotta do on this is really go down to the point of number one, you have to understand what your marketing budget is. Know how much you've got to invest right now. And then obviously you should be increasing that all the time. You, you need to think about marketing. Here's the best way to look at your marketing component when it comes to your real estate business. You, you need to think of it like a, it's like this gigantic ATM machine, okay? It's a real estate ATM machine. And what happens is you walk up to this ATM machine and you put money in it. So I put in $5,000. And then what happens, I put that in and then the marketing ATM machine, you know, after it works its process on things and you do your part, and then all of a sudden it spits out, let's say $20,000. So I put in five and I got out 20. Hmm, well that's a pretty good investment. So what I have to look at is I have to track and measure those results. So that's, the, so what I'm trying to get you guys to look at is think of marketing that way, where you're investing in something and you're seeing your return and then you're gonna put more into it. Now, if you're putting 5,000 in and you're only getting a thousand out on a continued basis, then it's probably a good idea to switch that marketing channel. A lot of you are in the position where, you know, you don't look at that. You don't watch those numbers. Think of it that way. Then I want you to think about the marketing component is, it really comes down to understanding one, um, you know, that budget. Number two, realizing that all marketing works. It just comes down to one of the most important things. And I want you to write this down. In fact, I, here's what I'd like for you to do is have somebody write it right on your forehead, <laughs> okay? So that way, every time you look in the mirror, you'll see this. And that's one word, consistency. You gotta be consistent. So whatever marketing channel you set up, and you test it, and if it works, then you gotta be consistent with it. You can pour gasoline on it, make it grow more and more. Look, we've been, like for instance, like direct mail. Direct mail has been part of our marketing for probably 20 years. One way or another, it's been a part of our marketing. There's been times we wouldn't do much of it because we were focused more on bank owned deals. But before that, there was a lot of marketing going on. And then at times we peaked and other times it slowed down. But the thing is, is it, you create a marketing channel that is your consistent marketing channel. And you get to continue to do that over and over. If it works, you're gonna pump more into it. And the long as you're making the return out of it and you're seeing it you know, work and produce the results, you can add layers to it. So what I always believe is, you know, the marketing side of things is something that we are constantly dealing with and it's always that way. We're always trying new marketing methods in our real estate investment business, okay? My COO, Ashley, is always testing new uh, methods, testing new channels, always. We're always doing that, but we're testing. You hear me say that over and over again, we're testing. We gotta test that, see how it works. Then if it tests, then we might add it in to our you know, foundation of marketing pieces. But understand this, that you, you've gotta find something 
and you know, and you really don't need 12 different ones going. You may be fine at the beginning, you might only find two that work really well and you can cons consistently hit those over and over again. And, if, and then as you grow more, you might add a couple more and you have four or five. And then you're very consistent with those. You'll find one that works and one that doesn't. So this goes back again to that consistency piece and never stopping that. Because what I see a lot is a lot of people get this flash in the pan thing. And they say, hey, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and I've been, so I've been doing direct mail and I've had students do this. And, and then all of a sudden they say, you know, all my deals dropped off and I'll say, well, what happened to your marketing during that time? Well, we decided to try this other list and we didn't send any mail during that time or we didn't, we shut off our pay per click during the time if that's what they were doing. Uh, and, and I'll say, so what does that tell you? And they'll say, well, I wasn't consistent about things. Absolutely. So that, that's what it ties into guys. So I don't want you to overthink this. You know, the marketing is a crucial part of your real estate investment business. You got to keep doing it all the time. You never shut it down. You always continue to do that. But that is the lifeblood of your business. Okay. It's market, market, market. Let everybody know you're out there. And it's interesting. I was just having a conversation at lunch today with a, a gentleman I work with. And, you know, we were talking about marketing and we were talking about that consistency piece, not just the consistency on your end, but you, there's a consistency side to the customers, your potential customers seeing it over and over again. And that a client has to see something on a regular basis. Think about what you know McDonald's does. And all, think about these big, big marketers on TV guys, okay? Or your social media accounts or emails and stuff. I mean, these people are spending millions and millions of dollars to cons consistently reach you over and over and over again. And it's constantly to get a little bit in your mind and constantly let that seed be planted that they're the go-to person. That's what you've got to do. So when you do that in your real estate and investment business, you will find that leads will, con uh, will come to you that you started marketing maybe a year ago, but because you never stopped and you consistently reach out to them, now they're coming in and they will convert over and become a client of yours. So I want you to keep that in mind, guys. Don't go out and try to do too much at once. Be very consistent with things. Test, 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 and then understand what your return is on your investment and then the ones that produce a good return, put gasoline on them and go with it. And stop chasing the squirrels. I'll talk to you all later. Comment down below, guys. And then please subscribe to my channel. We'll talk to you later.